Our cable-driven joint design utilizes six antagonistically actuated cables to control the three rotational degrees of freedom for the joint. Three additional saddle cables serve as a mechanically simple ball joint to stabilize motion and do not require actuation. Each of our six cable actuators consists of a DC motor connected to a cable spool. The spooled cable is then fed through our series elastic mechanism to add passive compliance and measure cable tension. The cable then exits through our omni routing mechanism, which serves to minimize cable friction while redirecting the cable as the joint moves. The series elastic mechanism routes the cable path over three pulleys, which applies the cable tension to a set of compression springs constrained by a linear slider. By sensing the displacement of the linear slider, an estimate of the cable tension can be measured with a simple linear encoder. Many cable-driven robots use eyelets to redirect cable pathing, which can lead to unwanted friction and cable wear. Instead, we utilize our omnidirectional cable routing mechanism, which feeds the cable through a bearing which is attached to a pulley. This enables the pulley to passively follow the direction of the cable as the joint moves. We performed initial testing to demonstrate the capabilities of our hardware prototype. Antagonistic actuation enables our joint to have tunable stiffness as we demonstrate in this test. The natural frequency shifts as pretension in the mechanism increases. We also performed several lifting tasks to demonstrate the strength of our hardware prototype. Here, we see the joint is capable of lifting up to 7 kilograms at a distance of 1 meter from the joint in this orientation. Finally, we perform some simple manipulation tasks to demonstrate the kinematic flexibility of the joint. Thank you for your time and we look forward to further discussion during the interactive session.